Hello, hello, hello. Hey, um, hello, I'm Gear Daniels. Um, so, um, obviously, um, this is my first episode, so, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about Friday the 13th, a new beginning. Why did I choose to start this piece of shit as the first film to review? And, and I kind of regret doing this. I kind of hate myself for doing this, but whatever. So basically the film is a start off on the dark and rainy night, okay? And then, you know, we have Tommy, you know, maybe that goes, let's say Tommy Jarvis, that's, that's from franchising. Tommy Jarvis basically goes to the graveyard near Jason's grave since in the last film he got, you know, axed off, well, at least at that, at the, for the time being. Um, and basically, yeah, so then he, then he hides when he sees two grave robbers and they try to open up in his, open up Jason's tomb. Oh, I was in trouble, but anyway. So basically, Jason, you know, kills them. <clears throat> and he goes towards Tommy, but, and he's like, a, you know, the same as he was in the last one, but then it turned out to be a dream. We wake up to a now teenage Tommy who's going to find her due to be traumatized from the events of part four. And I'll say I kind of wish I could say anything good, but you know, I can't. This is the last good thing I could say about the film is that that opening scene was kind of cool. Anyways, so we were introduced to all these characters who were basically. Now, I'll get this. To, now, that, now, this is one of my first complaints. Already, the characters are just so lazy. Written. Fucking Christ. They, they are so. Like generic, like some of them like are either boring, annoying, or just forgettable, or just they have no importance. And also the main protagonist, or not, not the final girl, uh, Pam, is just probably the worst. You know, you know, you know, final girl in the Fr Friday series. And the only good ones are the Reggie, like the black kid. I'm, I, I, I don't know, but. That's probably not the best thing to say for him. Uh, oh, it's like for him, not like the black kid, because I, I probably shouldn't say it like that, but you, you know what I meant. Um, then we have Tina, who's also played by Deborah Voorhees, and, and then there's also um, um, Robin, played by Juliet Cummins. And yeah, they're the only characters I feel who have any personality. Like, yeah, the, like the latter two are just there just to get, you know, make it get axed off, but, you know, which is kind of bullshit because, you know, you, you don't have, you know, Dick Voorhees or Jewel Cummings, oh my god, Jewel Cummings, you know, in a film, especially with Deborah Voorhees, you know, and have her killed off like that. Like, come on, that's, bull, that's bullshit. Anyways, yeah, that's, but, but my only problem is that the characters are just generic and have no, no small personality other than what I just described so far, and yeah, but it, um, also with um, Tina and it, um, you know, Robin, like their actresses are probably the, and I'll respect they're probably the nicest people ever. I'll fucking fight you if you say no, because they are. Anyways, um, so then we have um, so basically there's this kid named Joey, and he's like, you know, like he's not the brightest, and he like is on this so angry asshole with an axe like he's chopping wood and like this is the stupidest part but basically he, he basically that Joey upsets that guy and he like grabs the axe and like fucking kills him or at least you, you hit see him hit but you don't like you see him screaming and all the other characters screaming and like then you see the aftermath and he's like oh my god like so not that problem has some that it has such an inconsistent tone. Like for one day it's like a comedy, or like a dark or black horror comedy. Other times it's genuinely trying to be like a horror film. Other times it's it's like a, you know just like you know just like and then it's then it's occasionally just a full fledged porno because you know the director Johnny's I don't know. I forgot his name, but he, he, I, I think he, he was known for doing porn, so he explained why there's so much nudity in this film. And which, by the way, is so goddamn gratuitous. Ugh, I can't even say what's gratuitous. And, yeah, I can't show that. Sorry. Anyways. 
like what else? Um, and then also like yeah, so basically yeah, it, it also killed in this one thanks to the MPAA is like all dog shit and like oh my god, Jesus Christ! It's like all the kills are wound and it's like you know it's too violent, you know, it, you know, too bad. Anyways, so basically yeah, it's just fucking stupid. So like, the only kill worker then is Eddie's death, but it's the only one that I generally find the most most thing to become somewhat unsettling. And like you like the act of poison, like it you know does a good job of convincing me that it's fucking painful. Anyways, I don't know what was it. Um, also the music by Harry Manfredini. This is probably I hate the music in this one. Like also like because the whole reveal that it's spoiler work, it's revealed that you know after you know like. Joey gets killed over the fucking chocolate bar. Um, his father, who is at the end, is revealed once like the killer is ki the Jason copycat killer is killed is Roy, Bert, like you know a paramedic that and they kind of try to hint that he's a uh, you know a bad uh, villain. And like, now I would admit his his motives are like cool. I uh, like how it tries to play in with like the uh, with the. Uh, Pamela Voorhees and Jason, like, like, or mostly Pamela in, in the first film, but I feel like it doesn't work here because it's like you don't get enough of his, like, see him speak or like how his psychological mindset. And also, it's really like, but also the whole thing is that it's supposed to be meant to be really thinking that Tommy's the killer, so they have said, k k k uh, or what like, you know, kill mommy, kill. It's k k k t t t t t. it's kill Tommy, kill. And it's like, but I'm like, okay, I get it if you want to be a red herring, but when you find, realize it's not, Tommy's not the killer, then it just makes it weird because it, the killer's Roy, it's not Tommy. So, for, so what, he, the context of that, it's it just like, it's weird. And also, I hate this film, like, yeah, this film also tries, or, or the, you know, the inconsistent tone, it, it also tries to be a psychological thing, and it feels miserable at it. Another thing I hate is that, this film could have been so much entertaining, like maybe have it be Tommy, like him, just, like not be like a like fire with the slasher, like maybe a cocaine will kill, but more like a psycho thing where it's more just built up into suspense. And he constantly sees Jason, yeah, that, like, you know, and like some like like get like his mindset get into like the psychological aspects and see him slowly grow insane and become evil, or you know, or you know, insane or whatever the hell you want to say. I feel like that would have been awesome, like, and obviously the execution has to be done correctly, so it got prop could have also been shit, but I know it did, yeah, it still would at least get it credit for at least trying to do something cool, but no, they didn't. And, like, the fact that Tommy, like, his actor, John Shepard, he's okay, but... I think the fact that Tommy barely speaks in this film, and I know he probably says, but, you know, he's like, traumatized, but I don't... I think that's a good excuse because it's like you, it could have just been like I don't know, Kevin, you know, speak more like you know maybe like see him like get scared. Like, it's just like he, like he's Tommy's very barely focused on him, just even though he's technically supposed to be the main protagonist alongside you know Pam. You know, oh she, oh, but God, she's mostly just annoying. Fuck the, the story is this film is just very easily made, and also like the, the cinematography. I admit the sun in the lightning, it, it's somewhat cool, but it's um, the, also the makeup effects, you know, due to the fact that the special effects it, are you, I can't say much like the part with the team with the eye gouged out and the you know, the you know, the one the you know, ready his like his grandfather, it's you know, kind of cool to see. You know, like, so, like, see the eyes, it looks kind of cool, but that's not much to, that's not much of a compliment. And, just, also, like, the fact that Roy kills more people than Jason did, like, in a single film, like, you know, before he started to become supernatural, and then he just went out just killed, like, like shit ton of people. It, like, it's weird, but, it, like, but I'm like, god damn, and also the fact that he doesn't go after the, the guy who killed his son. You know, he could have easily done that, and I don't care about the whole, so it's like, oh, he went insane, and he just, and he didn't like that they let him get away with, but that's, because I'm like, that doesn't excuse his actions. Now, maybe that was a point that he's, you know, done excuse his actions, 
but you could argue Pam or Roar, he's in the first song, his actions are not excused, but, like, still, it's, like, cause it's, like, either that, like, he genuinely, like, is, like, but, like, if the film makes it out, it would seem like he's just stupid, but, like, so the only thing I, conclusion I could come up with is that he did it because he was evil, so, I don't know. Um... Also, like, yeah, I mean, this film is just shit. Like, it could have been so much, like, also the fact that the film just is just, like, so goddamn cliched. Like, with the whole, like, the engine won't start the that equals sex. Which, I feel like this, the Friday the this film, and the next two films I reviewed, part seven, and, and the reboot of Friday the 13th, I, they are merciless with this whole concept. It's so fucking stupid and like a, a, a aggravating. Like, okay, we get it. Yeah, it's like you die. It's like okay, I get it. It was part of his character, but still, you know, just, you know, also, Roy Barnes is not that menacing. Like, like also, another thing that comes is maybe like how people were like, you know, if they burn going that continuing with the final ending, like what part four, like. They could have, oh, well, actually, technically, they do try to make it time to kill him, but it's retcon in part six where he comes just the good guy where he kills Pam, but it's not really done well because I feel like the part six, that, that's the only thing I could complain about sorry, part six is that one standing this film because it could have been interesting, but anyway, well, yeah, but the part five of the itself was so bad, so we redeem it. Anyways, but like, it's just, man. Yeah. Like, I also, like, I've seen Jim, I don't know. Um, I've seen someone like um, make an argument that maybe it's like, like, what, what the fuck was going on? Yeah. yeah, anyways, like, he, like, the, I, I feel like they also could have gone maybe if they weren't gonna go for time, maybe like how big it was, like the whole thing of like anyone could be Jason and like someone could go easily go insane, or maybe like, you know, like, the whole time going insane, Friday the 13th, the day itself. Being more than just the day Jason drowned, but more like it's a day that means insanity or something. Like you can like add some some like the whole you know curse aspect of, or it's just a strain they have. And it was just that could have been more awesome, but no, they don't. It's fucking bullshit. This film gets like a, a 1.5 out of 5 at best. Because this film is so fucking stupid and, and like cliche. It's just lazy. Like they could have, it's just a rehash of part 4. Or okay, yeah, maybe not real, but it basically has the same, he basically plays out the same similar thing to happen, you know, you know, teens have said, you know, you know, the odd chick dies or whatever. It's just like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Probably gonna end this review right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Now don't no no yeah I'm fine if you don't what you know agree with you know you know what I said in the vid in this vid, but just don't go act like a dick just about to me. Anyways. Alright, bye. Hello. Um, it's, it's episode 2 of Garrett Andrews Film Reviews. Today I'm out reviewing the 7th film in the Friday the 13th franchise, Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. Now, after the last film, like, you know, Jason Lives, which I thought is probably like a, a, a top 3 of my favorite Friday the 13th films, <coughs> but, you know, it, it, this film is kind of, yeah, it sucks pretty much. Very mediocre. No, nah, actually, it's just stupid to be honest. Once again, the kills are shit pretty much uh, because of the thanks to the MPAA. Also, with part five, the, sh the, 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 shit. the kills were very bad and uncreative. And with this film, I don't uh, now, now in, compared to this Friday, the last Friday film I talked about, and the next Friday film I'm not talking about, this one's the closest thing. This one's the most watchable. I mean, that's it's not saying much. It's still dog shit, but you know, some at least. Um, the main protagonist, um, 
yeah, I will admit this one probably does try to get creative, but at the same day, at the same time, it's still just, you know, a guy wearing a mask, you know, in this case, Jason, bushing up teenagers having sex and smoking pot and shit like that. Characters are just, like once again, like the last, like the last one, like the Law Park Five. They're just statistics. The only thing I could think, um, the character I think that's actually has somewhat of an arc, or at least has some personality. Odd enough, is a hot, the hot chick. Well, actually, not, not the hot. Most of the hot chicks don't, but you know. Well, okay, yeah. Well, in terms of kills, there are some like the guy with the in in the unrated at least with the guy gets his head crushed, and like the. Um, and the guy who gets his, like, the head, the hand through the back, um, but also, but it's still, also in, like, the asshole doctor, like, the Dr. Cruz, apparently that's his name, where he gets the, you know, well, basically the other way cut is far superior, you know, like, at least visually it's there, but, uh, at least I'll get this, like, at least this film has the other, like, the, well, at least it's very, the, quality or at least the footage is very like grainy like kind of VHS but it's it's done look the best but at least you can see the kills and and they look a lot better but I feel like the sleeping bag kill I yeah I kind of find overrated I you know, it's just like I mean it's creative but like it like the scene itself has none nothing and I know the whole po I shouldn't be too cr critical of these stuff like though like this era of the Friday the 13th because it's just you know it's not meant to be seriously but I which, yeah, you can make that argument, but I still think it's, it doesn't change. In fact, I still hate it. Regardless, even if I don't try to take it seriously, I still fucking hate it with my passion. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not that harsh, but like, it's still shit. Duh, uh, okay, I'll admit that there are some good things about this movie, but it doesn't make up for the, for the, uh, the bad dish. The story, like, and how anticlimactic, like, and how it's saying that it's basically just a rehash of you know parts four, five, basically all the other films, you know, except part six. Like, yeah, they had the zombie Jason, but I don't know. Kane Hodder's Jason isn't like, again, he like he's is so memorable, but it was like the makeup for the design for Jason is pretty cool. But I'll get at that. The makeup now, I know that good guy did it. Um, I think he passed away. He also did the uh, work on Halloween 4 to return of Michael Myers. And yeah, I, I pressed in peace, but yeah, he did some a good job with the makeup on Jason, like when he gets the mask broken off, like, alright, I'll, I'll admit, there are some good things, but I still hate the film, well, I, I still don't like the film, I still think it's dog shit, the, the, the good aspects don't outweigh the bad ones. But I, I guess I might as well get the bad stuff out of the way. Um, yeah, the most of the characters, except for, um, what, what's his name, um, Heidi Kozak's um, character and kind of the actress who plays Robin, the, the, their characters are the only one who, with some bit of personality. And the characters, like they put, like, you know, Sandra, I think, that's the, has somewhat of a personality and has, like, her romantic with the guy who, like, owns the house in the movie. It is pretty good. Um, the actress who plays the main protagonist, Tina, um, yeah, she's, she, no offense to the actress, she's probably the nice, she's probably a nice person, you know. But, it's not, it could be a lot better, it, I mean, um, yeah, all the characters are just there just to be butchered or, they're either, yeah, I'm, I'm not as angry with this film as the, as in the, the last film I reviewed and the next one I reviewed, because it has some redeeming qualities, not, not that it redeems it completely, but it's still not, it's still worth mentioning, um, yeah, um, the music by Harry Man for Indini is kind of forgettable. Again, this is probably his, his second weakest score he's he's done in this series. But it's not as bad as Part Five, where it's just I can't remember a single fucking. Or I, actually, I think the last films like Part Five's music. It's, I don't think it's that that's forgettable. It's just that it's kind of obnoxiously done. It's boo, boo, it's trying to be scary, but it, this one is just. More, this is the more on the forgettable side of it. I don't really remember that much soundtracks. 
um, in terms of cinematography, I, it's, it's not that, the acting is not the greatest, I mean, some actors do okay, but some, not so much. Um, strange noises <clears throat> so yeah um the music um it's forgettable um jason the film he's okay but there's not much to talk about him he's just you know just there to kill people he's still he still acts like the same character so i'll give him that but I think what my problem with film is that it just seems kind of boring and somewhat stupid, and I, I just don't like it. Like, compared, this film is so inferior to Part 6. Like, yeah, it's better than Part 5. Okay, I know how I'm saying it sounds like a fucking nerd, cause, but then again, these films, if you try describing the plots, it, it, they just sound, make you sound like a nerd anyways, but, and I am kind of a nerd anyway, because I, I need to know a lot of stuff. At least I know the plots pretty well. Um, oh, now, on the more positive side, like, yeah, once again, Jason was cool. The kills, like, in the, when you see the, what they actually were, they, they were pretty good. The, the makeup and everything. Um, Jason looks awesome. You know, he kicks so much time to me. But, but Kane Hart does an okay job as Jason. Um, okay, I swear, I keep on hearing shit. I don't know why I keep on hearing shit, but I do. And I don't like it. Oh yeah, okay, so the positive... So basically with this film, um... It's... I don't know, it, I'd honestly just give it a oh, 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 Anyways, like the... I don't have much to say. This film is kind of forgettable, to be honest. I, I don't... Well, it isn't for real, but it's just not that interesting. It's kind of just re... It, the whole plot is just more or less just a rehash of part... The parts four, not the... Or, or like the... Parts three... Well, bit three, four, five... In, in the sense that it's just, you know, hot girls and, you know, guys like... Guys and girls like having sex or teenagers having sex. You know, them doing pot or some shit like that. And them being butchered brutally in clear ways. You know, in this case, it kills are okay, but like, I just don't like this film. I take it, I take the effect because the, the last film was like part six was so good. Like, they actually, like, he was gonna go somewhere, but no, they don't go. Well, they, they don't go anywhere with part seven. It's just, it's like, but to me, the series, I, my series, it goes parts one, two, three, six. Um, then we have, um, the ending of part seven. You just watch the ending. It's the battle with Jason. is the only thing good about this film. The main best thing about this film. Um, part eight, part nine, part ten, and Freddy vs. Jason. Those are the, my preference. Part four is just boring as shit. Um, and part five, you already know what I think about it. And part, and... No, don't get me started on part 12, part, not part 12, the reboot, oh dear god, I, I fucking, it just shit. Anyways, um, what was it, alright, um, also the local film is just kind of, uh, I don't know, it doesn't, it's not the atmosphere, it's just kind of ugly to look at, it's, it's, it's just dark, I mean,
Um, so yeah, I'll just give this film like a... Two, two point five. Okay, um, my name is Garrett Andrews, and, um, Alright, um, yes, uh, so I thought we got to talk about the reboot for the entertainment. Yes, I know how I'm doing this setup, and with me, like, talking is kind of, yes, yeah, it's unprofessional, but I'm, kind of, Fuck's making that sound. Fuck. Alright, um, alright, so, uh, goddamn, I want Okay, so, yeah, this film, part of the reboot, part of 13. Fuck this film. It's a sissy. Fuck this movie. This movie can just fuck off. So, let me go this way. The story, the characters, fucking suck. Seriously. Oh, also, I don't know where to begin with this, but, um, the story fucking blows. Like, seriously, it is so fucking unoriginal, lazy, and just fucking. Ah, fuck this. Fuck this. So, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like a fucking raging. By the time this, by the time this review ends. Okay, you know what? Let me get the my biggest one first. First one, G. here just fucking suck ass like they're boring obnoxious annoying or just fucking cystic they're so cliche like this one is so fucking cliche like there's the hot chicks well there's a lot of them three if I, if I remember the stoner the black guy that's the, the you know the aging guy or whatever else it's, it's just a it's token minority um, what else? the guy who smokes pot um the hot guy, you know, the the, the, the the final girl. It's so, I'm not, fuck. Okay, um. Jason is some acts way too sadistic. Like the part where you like walk mid catch has the boyfriend, like he, he ties up his girlfriend on the campfire, like over the campfire and has her burn like burn slowly to death while she's like screaming bloody murder. Or the, the guy who has his leg stuck he gets stuck in the bear trap and he's forced to watch. 
that's just fuck. Like, like that is not what Jason would do. Like, okay, I know you, you're saying he's not the most nicest person, but that is kind of makes Luke means all, all the, the, the you know, where on the film when they try to make him sympathetic. Because it's like, no, nah, you, you, you did that. I, I fuck you. Like, you, you're, you're, you're fucking evil. You're, you're pure evil. It's like, no, nah, I don't care about the fucking mother. You just ruined like his character is already unlikable or, or not sympathetic. You know, I don't know how to say. For also, the film itself looks ugly. They that piss covered thing. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Ugh, I hate how the film looks. It makes me want to vomit. To be honest. Also, don't get inside that thing with the box with that girl. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The the girl played by Will Ford. Like where she, like you know, it's that's the only film that that scene that scene the film where it comes close to being somewhat scary. And like you know, they gotta go go then. Like Jason comes, but then when you think she says she he pops in, like that would have been a decent jump scare. And they pop and have her come up and have like her boobs on her. And it's like, oh, fuck me. It's, it's like, come on. It, it, it's, like, it's weird. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I, it's weird. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to find that arousing or I, I don't know. It's weird. It just ruins the whole build up and it, it's the payoff is awful. Character of Trent, like I don't know, it's just he's so unreal. Like, why do they have these characters have sex all the time? These in part five, part four, five, seven, and in this one, like seriously, I don't get. I, I hate that thing. It's just so. Like I get it that you know, you know, they may have sex occasionally, but it just feels unrealistic. Like I can't relate to that. I feel like I'm watching a porno, followed by a body kills. It, this is the same. Also, another thing, there's no suspense. This film is not scary. This is probably the this is up there as like on my least favorite horror films ever. Probably at least number ten or maybe a little bit slightly higher. That's how mad this film makes. But this film makes me angry, fucking angry. I'm not even jo joking. Like this film is just ugh, the dialogue is awful. It's cringeworthy. The, the same word that, that, I don't know, her name Brie, like, when she's like, it's like, you know, you're having sex and, you, you know, with Trent, and, and it's like, and I had to, like, I don't even want to say it because it's kind of just too cringeworthy for me to say, but it's like basically a porno. It, it's literally nothing else for, it's like, like, come on, like, yeah, maybe I could find that somewhere, to tur like, you know, hot, but, like, at the same time, it's also kind of cringy. It just, like, it makes me feel uncomfortable when I'm watching it in general, like, when I'm not, like, alone or something. It just makes that seem more uncomfortable to watch, but it's just like, oh, it's, it's weird. It's just, no. Why would you, do, why, why would you think that was a good idea to include that? Like, I don't care if this film's about, you know, I don't care if this, if, like, this film being cliche is, like, part of the trying to, like, you know, that, like, fire directing film should be. Like, no, it shouldn't be like that, okay? That I mean that excuse is horrible. Okay, well, look, 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 look at this new Godzilla came the monsters. Okay, I know I'm probably not mentioning Godzilla a lot throughout these reviews because I don't know I can't help it. But that film it has certain elements from the past films, like the older films, but it still managed to have its new story without being flat out cliche. And like come on. this film, no, you know what? This film, I'm. Just, 
like, oh my fucking god. Why? Why? Kills are just flat out boring. Also, the whole thing with Jason being a safe like we chose the axe so he could call his friends even though knowing that they can't because they'll go get killed by him. Like, seriously, that is not Jason. Why would you and also him okay fine. Like, no damn just fuck fuck this movie. Like the characters all just suck ass. Like there's no suspense. No there's no atmosphere to atmosphere, but even if there if you wanna call it atmosphere, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah, I have no clue. This is the worst film in the Friday film in the Friday the Thirteenth series. I have no, I have to take no, no. I don't take that back. It, it, it's fucking atrocious. Also, the music, fuck the music. The music is terrible, dog shit. Cinematography also, dog shit. Most of that, there's. Barely have any redeemable qualities in this film. And it's like it's probably the only film. Like I don't know if a film, you know, there there are some films you know, that like like this one that make me so fucking angry that I, I I just genuinely just have to stop watching the film. But this film, like if you put it on, I would automatically stop leaving the room. Like I'm, I'm not watching that. That you know, cause it, it, you have you if you enjoyed this film, good for you. I'm, I what. You know, I'll, I'll give you. I respect your. I respect your opinion. I'm glad you could like it when I can. But, but don't expect me to. If you put this film on, I'm gonna for me to watch it because I'm probably like this film. I like the only one that I genuinely like. Just would like would majority of time would just refuse to watch most of the time. Like this is fucking shit. It's fucking dog shit. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna give this film like a, I don't know, one out of five. Yeah, cause, yeah, just fuck this movie. Good day.